Hey everyone, it's Chris Spearing with Delaire Realty. Hey, if you're a first time home buyer in the Green Bay area, this is the episode for you. We've got Seth Johnston with Associated Bank here today to talk about the CARE program from Associated Bank for first time home buyers. Seth, thanks for joining us today. Hey, Chris, how are you? Oh, doing well. Thank you for uh, joining us. Tell us a little bit about the CARE program and how this can help a first time home buyer. Yeah, so our care program is an Associated Bank specific program. We use our own funds. It's a program that we keep in house. We don't sell these loans. So you can stop in at any branch to make your payment, call us. You don't have to worry about it being sold off to somebody you don't know that may not give you the same local customer service. It is a uh, first time home buying um, loan program, like Chris said. It's really designed to be for first time home buyers and maybe compete against the FHA program that you might hear about out there. The FHA program is a great program, but it has some kinks in that chain. Um, it's a government program that some realtors, some sellers may not look at as with uh, as healthy as a traditional Fannie Mae um, pre-approval. So the care program is a conventional loan. It's not a government loan or an FHA loan. You put 3% down, not 3.5% down with the FHA program. Um, there's no mortgage insurance with it. That's huge, depending on your credit score and what you put down. Historically, mortgage insurance could be as low as $50 a month. I've seen it in the three dollars $400 a month range. So not having that payment is huge. That payment being gone would give you a much larger home for the same monthly payment, not having that there. Just think about a hundred thousand dollars in a 30 year fix costs about $600 a month. So if you had a $300 mortgage insurance payment, that just got you a $50,000 bigger home for the same payment every month, not having that mortgage insurance payment. Um, there's no uh, upfront mortgage insurance premium that's charged just like on an FHA loan. And, um, yeah, so that's something that Associated Bank would have for our first-time homebuyers, 3% down on the uh, care program. You want your family income to be underneath $72,500, and uh, that's something that uh, we have for our customers. Uh, so is it a fixed-rate program, or is it is it adjustable as well, or is it just on that fixed-rate program? Yeah, good question. Typically, just your vanilla 30 or fixed. Um, and the, the credit guidelines, are they flexible? You know, you talk about uh, about that. Are there flexible credit guidelines or is it kind of you've got to hit a specific uh, score to qualify? Yeah, I mean, they have your standard minimum credit scores, things like that. Um, but it is a flexible program that is uh, very understanding for the needs of the first time home buyers and things like that. Correct. Now talk about how important it is that this is in-house, right? You guys keep this and service this in-house at Associated Bank, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't explain how important this has become in our time. So if we think about um, what we've all experienced since the pandemic, um, labor going up, costs going up, a lot of companies are really focused on how can we save money and keep our prices down, our business expenses lower. A lot of banks are selling off the servicing. So if you think about what that is, that's after you open up your mortgage, what happens to my mortgage? Does that get sold off to another company? Then all of a sudden you get a letter in the mail one day and you've never heard of this bank, it's out of Arkansas or something like that. And they're saying, hey, we just bought your mortgage servicing rights, just the ability to collect your payment and answer your questions. It doesn't change your rate, your loan amount, your payment, but your servicing. And you, and you say, is this, is this legit? Is this real? Is this fake mail? Am I really making my payment to this place I've never heard of before? And it may be correct. Then you got to call them. You got to change that with your automatic payment set up with your bank account. And then if you ever have any questions on your taxes, your homeowner's insurance, um, if you want to add more to your monthly payment, now you got to call this company, sit on hold with this 1-800 number, talk to somebody that may have worked at Taco Bell recently that really doesn't understand the industry. And there's some frustrations with that because this is your number one physical asset that you use all the time. It's no different than would you hire a company like this to take care of your 401k, another big asset. So being able to call me personally, text me, pop into my office, drink some coffee, talk about 
you know, changing your homeowner's insurance. What is that like? Help me out or call somebody local out of our Stevens Point or Green Bay offices. That feeling that it's kept, it's local, and it's with people that have been here a while with long tenures at the bank that really know what they're talking about is very valued. And it's something that as one of the biggest banks in Wisconsin, that's home to Wisconsin, that we're very proud of. So you bring up a great point. You know, we do this every day. Seth does this every day. Chris does this every day. But the person watching this episode doesn't do this every day. And there's a lot of details that we go through. Give it to us. I'm I'm a first time home buyer and I've got my FHA pre-approval in my hand from somebody and I'm looking around and I come across the care program. Mm -hmm. Give me the the one sentence, three, four bullet point spiel as to why I would want to go CARES versus FHA and why they should contact Seth to, to explore that. Yeah. So if you think about it, not from the buyer's point of view, but you spin the table, so to speak, and you think about the seller, the seller is coached by their realtor to take the strongest offer possible. Maybe it's because they don't want an FHA appraisal done that traditionally has more sensitivities to it. Um, they don't want to know why did this borrower have to go FHA? Why couldn't they just be qualified for a conventional loan? Does that insinuate that they're not as strong as a borrower? Maybe they have a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, late payments or something like that in their history to why they had to go to the FHA program. So in eliminating that and giving them a conventional pre-approval with a care program, it eliminates all that. We've heard in the industry that um, if a... Uh, a seller has multiple offers in front of them and they're trying to pick the greatest chance that they're going to have a seamless transaction that's going to go to close with minimalistic hiccups. You want to pick obviously a cash offer. There's no appraisals. There's no drama. It's just straightforward. But if you don't have a cash offer and you want to get a loan, let's get the strongest loan. That would be your historical um, conventional loan done by a local bank with professionals that you trust, not a online lender no one's ever heard of that they'll never see that may not uh, affect anybody if it doesn't close on time or something like that. And you can't vouch for the years that this person's been at the company or their reputation in the industry with the local realtors. So creating that strongest offer is your number one goal. And that is with a program like this, a conventional program by the number one mortgage bank in town um, with a pro staff um, and this care program, I believe, is a good fit for a lot of people. Well, Seth, we appreciate your time today. We're excited to talk to uh, all the first-time home buyers out there. Spring is here. Uh, it's, it's the time where people get excited about it. So thanks for your time. And we'll put Seth's information below um, so you can reach Seth if you have any questions. And we're always here to answer yours as well. So thank you, Seth, for the time today.